looking at it when a man says he doesn't want to be with a single mother is because he does not want the responsibility of raising a child that he did not make that's number one number two if the father is still in the picture a man wants the father to take care of his child we don't want to be heartless but we do want these men who are creating these children we want them to take care of their child because we don't want to be resented for trying to take over the role of their father Hey everyone, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and also share the video. Alright guys, this is the second video. Um, talking about, you know, the single models and who created them. Part 2. The man's side of this story. Yup, 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 yup. Now, let me say something. Ladies, single mothers, listen. Um, I'm not going to be a Derek Jackson. But I'm just going to speak a lot of truth. The truth of the matter is there are men out there that love women <clears throat> in general. In general general and they don't care what your past mistakes were they don't care you know what you've done but if there's one thing I know about decent men is that we care about the decisions that you are currently making now, when I used to talk to some females that were in so-called bad relationships, the first thing I used to try to find out is what were they doing in the relationship? And then the second thing that I would start doing is observing them to see if they were currently still doing these things. You understand? Because, you see, you have to understand how men think. Men, and I tell my wife this all the time, and she repeats it to me, because she understands it. Men think in foresight. Women mostly think in hindsight. And what I mean by that is a man will talk to you, observe you like for a couple of days and see where it is going and then make a decision and say to himself well this may happen and stuff like that am i willing to deal with the consequences of what happens or am i not willing to deal with the consequences of what being with this person is going to bring a woman however will see a man see all the red flags and just don't even care she'll just like mm, i'll deal with it later a man is not like that a man has already said okay if i deal with this woman this is definitely going to happen and i have to say to myself well either i'm going to take my comeuppance or i'm not going to take up my comeuppance but a woman would just like completely not even ask a man you know this certain type of in-depth questions that would basically save her some relationship heartaches and you know when a man does this and he ignores a woman some women don't know why some men fall off or why some men may ghost you and that's just the reality some of you think that a man is just talking to multiple women which is particular true you know, sometimes we're talking to multiple women and we just decide on a woman and we ghost you. I don't know if I've ever ghosted anyone without telling them that, you know, it's just not going to work out. 
I don't ghost I, I, I don't I just find it very childish to ghost people I think we as men need to have balls enough to tell a woman say it's just not going to work out one of the main lines that I used to love to use are um, use a lot is that you're just not my type that was a, that's a famous 90s line you're not my type you know I don't think it's gonna work out you're just not my type when I went on a lot of dates in downtown Philly and stuff like that at the end of the date I say you know there's not gonna be a second date you're just not my type you understand women women will text me say hey are we gonna go on a second date nope you're not my type you understand I don't see what's so hard in a man basically not wasting a woman's time don't waste women's time virgin let's not do that it's not like we have to be we have to be a man yo get some balls bro get some bras tell a woman you're just not interested in her like we've we've grown such sissified men in that we're so afraid um i don't like we shouldn't care cancel are not getting canceled like be a man stand up stand up behind behind like put your back against the wall and stand up bro you know what i mean if you're not interested in a woman just tell her you're not my type move on you understand let the, like don't care i've told all right okay so i want to tell a story right before i even get into the male side of why you know single mothers are a problem to us right i want to tell i want to tell your story i was with a girlfriend right and before we even got into the relationship i told her i told her it wasn't going to work out and she ignored what I told her she and she still pursued me still pursued me right even when I told her and the reason why I told her that it wasn't going to work out is because I had just come came out of a bad relationship and she was basically a rebound chick um, for those of you who don't know what a rebound is a rebound relationship is basically you coming out of a bad relationship or you being hurt in a relationship you come out you don't take the time to heal but you just jump into our next relationship like the week after the relationship is over and so you're dealing with a lot of hurt a lot of pain and you're basically casting it on the new relationship you're not giving the relationship the attention the love and emotional support it deserves you understand and so that relationship within itself is going to become toxic you understand what i'm saying that relationship within that's toxic of you of anybody to do that in um any case so i told her that it was not going to work out and she ignored me she completely ignored me m completely ignored me and you know couple couple weeks into the relationship i broke it off with her i said listen um you're not my type it's not gonna work out i don't want to lead you on and ladies when a man tell don't let a man tell you more than once that he does not want you because most of the times 90 percent of the times when a man tell you he doesn't want you he means it you understand it's not no it's not we're not like women it's not no um, dig deeper for me to say yes a man generally gonna tell you yes or no so if a man tell you say yo I, I don't want you believe him he does not want you if a man basically tell that he doesn't want you and he's still doing things with you that's just him using you he's using you that man is using you to get what he wants you understand so just because he's doing things with you doesn't mean that he wants you he's just getting his rocks off he's he's using it for his own benefit you have to understand that as a woman that when a man tells you he doesn't want you he just doesn't want you so sorry i'm getting stuffed up i know my voice is very light my voice always becomes light when i'm sick um i told this woman that you know it's not gonna work out 
and you're not my type and you know whatever it is and I broke it off with her she ball she ball she ball she ball she ball and I felt bad I was like all right I got back into a relationship with her and I said to myself maybe I may grow to love her because men do do that we as men do do that like if we're with somebody long enough we do grow to love them that's something that a lot of men don't want to tell you but it's a very huge secret of men if a man is around an ugly woman long enough and if they're you know they're very interconnected and stuff like that after a while he's not going to want that ugly woman to be dating anybody he's going to want to be in a relationship with that ugly woman all right just a just a little nugget for you ladies men can grow to love love you you understand but that that would have to be a extremely positive relationship if it's not a positive relationship then it's not gonna work when a man friend zone a woman it's usually it's usually all downhill from there he just really and truly does not want you he's not like how he men are not like women where basically a woman will friend zone you and then you know this fairy tale story of falling in love with the with the best friend and stuff like that. men don't do that it, it just generally it doesn't usually happen all right so um i told her that basically you know that basically you know um it's not going to work out so i broke up with her a second time you know by this time we had slept together like you know three times and she was and that's why I'm afraid to sleep with people too because I may not be the best but I know I do stuff well enough too <laughs> so you know um, she was like and the fact of the matter is she was a very insecure person because of the boyfriend that she had been with before he had cheated on her and you know got got one of her friends pregnant and stuff so anyway i broke up with her a second time told her again that you know i'm just not feeling the relationship i don't feel like it's right that i'm with her i don't want to lead you see and and, I, and again i tell the women like some man will tell you point blank what he's after or what it, it is what it is and a woman will basically not listen Hold on a second. I'm going to turn on my light because it's getting dark. Sun is, sun is setting. Yes, yeah, so a man will basically tell a woman, you know, um, what it is, what he wants, what he's seeking. And a woman will get all sorts of ideas about, you know, I don't know, like, I can change this man. I can, you know, you know, I don't know why women always have this mentality because, I don't know I've, I've seen it in my mother as well where my father was concerned with a lot of things and that was a world of pain for her parents still married to this day whatever anyway um you know we went on again she balled she balled to my mother and because my mother liked her and stuff like that my mother cussed me out and then I decided okay let me let me try again to see if I would grow to love her and I got in I got back into the relationship with her again you know but I was going through some stuff and I said like it's not good for me to be dragging her through the mud while I'm going through stuff like this and I'm trying to let her go like I didn't spend any time with her I was basically working a lot you know I tried to bury myself in work because I was in so much pain from my last relationship I buried myself in work. I tried to do a lot of things. I was working out a lot. I was, you know, um, I also started my gym, my gymnastics gym in Jamaica. I had started my gym at that time. And, you know, she was, she was basically just like, you know, she didn't give me my space to, she was very, she was a very insecure person. I wasn't doing anything with any other woman. I just, I was hurt. So it's just like, there was like, the last thing on my mind was like being with anybody at that point in time. I just wanted to be by myself. You know, and she 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 basically, you know, she was insecure. She accused me. Like I'd be at work and my boss was like 70 odd years old and stuff like that. And 
just because I didn't call her or text her when she wanted me to at work, she was like, oh, you're in a relationship with your boss and you probably sleep, <coughs> you're sleeping with your boss right now and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, listen, man, my boss is like 70 odd years old. I don't know what I'd be doing with a woman like that. You understand? And there are times I calmly spoke to her like, because I understood, I understood that, you know, she had some problems from the relationships that she 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 had been in. So I never shouted at her. I didn't like treat her in such a way. I just I did my best to calmly like talk to her and let her understand that listen man, I'm not doing I don't have the time to do what you think I'm doing. Cuz if I did, trust me, you would know. So, you know, I I basically just like I was very calm with her with her insecurities, but when it got to a point where I couldn't stand it anymore, I broke up with her for one final time. And I said, listen, I understand that you've been through some stuff with your ex-boyfriend. And, you know, he did. And I, I just laid it out. I laid it out. I said that he did what he did to you. And I'm sorry that, you know, that happened to you. But... You know, I'm not doing those things to you. And I mentioned to you, like, not really use the word mention, but I said, I told you what it was in the beginning. I told you that you weren't my type. Excuse me. And it's not going to work out. And, um, you know, I told you that basically, you know, it's just, I just, it's not that it's not you it's me I need to heal I need to recover and so basically you know I broke up with her she cried she cried she cried she cried she cried but this time after she cried I did not get back into a relationship with her because you know I also felt guilty because I felt like I wasted her time i felt like the first time i broke up with her i just should have not gotten back into a relationship with her and allowed her to move on and find somebody else so you know i have to take the blame for that it's not right for me to basically use somebody's time like that you know regardless of even if i told her that it wasn't going to work out and you know blah 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 I still ended up wasting the girl's time and she is to be held accountable for you know not listening when I told her that you know it wasn't going to work out that is also her fault yes I agree with that you know um now back to the topic of you know men not seeking to date single mothers and women you have to understand something just as much as you have a choice of who you desire in society, us men, we have that choice too. And you need to understand that, you know, if a man says that he doesn't want a woman with a child, then he doesn't want a woman with a child. And there's nothing you can do to force that man to like you and you also don't want to force a man to like you you want somebody that is into you you want somebody that really wants to be with you you don't want to force somebody to like you i see a lot of videos of a lot of single mothers you know you know shaming men insulting men you know just because they don't want to be with a woman who has a child that's not their it's, it's like you have to understand that's not their that's not their responsibility they don't have to if they don't want to there were times where i turned down single mothers too i was like i don't like i just don't want to be with you because you have a child when i was on match i put it in my profile single mothers don't talk to me you know, and there was this one in particular, she had a child, but she looked hot. She was like hot. And I was like, 
I'm gonna at least do something to it, you know. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wife it up, you know. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm giving you the game. I'm giving you the game, women. I'm letting you understand. You you just have to understand that there are men out there that are handsome. You know that will take you as you are if you have improved on your behavior if you are a, one thing that i know us men really like about women is owning and taking accountability for what you have done and improving upon your life in terms of your behavior men despise women that are not meek mild or humble and I'll say it again men despise women whether they are single or whether they have a child that are not meek mild or humble um my friends and i we have a code we don't talk to women who are not humble we don't care how they look we don't care how beautiful they are we don't care what society you know basically says they are we're not talking to you if you're not a humble person i and a friend of mine, my best friend Paul, like we despise humble women. And I just want to say another story. We had this friend, right? Um, there's this place called Mega Mart. Paul and I would go to Mega Mart after gym because we had a friend in Mega Mart that worked in the food court in Mega Mart. And this friend, right, would, you know give us a lot of food you understand and by the way this friend was very attractive and she had a child and stuff like that but we you know you know you know when you know women like that you rock with them so paul and i after training every, for a whole week we would go and um go look for our friend at the food court and she would just like bust our plate full of food and stuff like that and She's like, yo, I want to come so late. I would say, you know, we have to train and stuff like that and whatever it is. So one night in particular, we had this girlfriend with us. And this girlfriend was, you know, a pretty, pretty girl, man, pretty girl. And we went to Walmart that night and a friend was with us. And we saw our friend and we wave our down and we said, yo, Wow, go out for the food and thing, you know. And she was like, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna fill it, I'm gonna fill it plate with food. And she, you know, she basically fill our plates and stuff like that, and you know, whatever it is. And you know, me and Paul like rapping with her and stuff like that, and talking to her. And then the girlfriend that we had with us, and ladies, I needed to, to pay attention. Right, because men hate this. I know. A I I thought I was the only one. I thought me and my friends were the only one, but I realized when I came to America, a lot of men hate this attitude in women. The treatment of of of, of people who work in these types of industries. So she basically spoke to the woman in such a way such a way that my friend Paul and I my best friend after that night we have never ever looked at that girl the same again we've never taken her anywhere with us we've never regarded her in any we don't talk to her certain ways we don't talk to her certain ways You understand? Men hate how women treat people that they consider to be below them.
because men don't see women as people below them and and a lot of women may not understand why a man will basically marry a woman that work at mcdonald's you because a man don't see her as that a man don't see her as some kind of um street urchin some disgusting thing women do that more women do that than more men do that women look at each other and they value each other up and down they look at men and they value men up and down men generally don't do that we see all women as the same that's why a man if him see a pretty girl and him like her and she vibe good that man is going to go for it he don't care where you work or live and women don't seem to understand that if that woman is humble and beautiful oh man oh man that man is going to jump hop skip and fence up for that girl a lot of women I realize a lot of women always talk down to other women based on the industries that they work in as if to say I'm better than you men hate that women you will benefit from this advice be humble respect everybody in every single industry whether you believe it's beneath you or whether you believe it's above you respect respect and treat everybody humanely when we saw the girl talk to her in such a way we just were just like wow and to this day Paul and I still talk about that situation we still talk about it because we're still disgusted by it and we don't talk to this girl anymore but I can guarantee you if we saw our friend in Megamart at the food court we would definitely talk to that chick so you know men despise women that are not meek mild and humble it is not because we're trying to control women we're trying to put them beneath us and stuff society have mind effed you into believing that men are some kind of controlling monsters and, and yes some of you need to be controlled because your your behavior is outlandish why like some of you are behaving in a way that you're not supposed to behave and you want the right to behave that way that's a fundamental problem you want to be you want to be a cow without a leash you want to be a tiger without a cage well, if that's the case, then go out in the wilderness and live that way. You cannot live that way amongst civilized people. Men of valor, men of decency, men of honor will not ever like a woman that behaves like that. Men don't like women who behave like that. I can guarantee you of that. So anyway, I know I strayed off topic a lot. I want to go back into the topic, talking about, you know. So, the um, reason why men don't really want a single mother is because the connection that we have to children. Um, instinctively, because of how we're created by the Most High, a man instinctively when he loves children he will take the shirt off his back and puts it on the child if needs be a man will spend his very last breath taking care of his family his children because that's his seed you know men see it as something that's very important to take care of their children and they love them men love children there are many men that love children but we never talk about we need to talk about these things we need to talk about why a man doesn't like like we have to go in depth and to say why a man wouldn't want to be with a single mother it i know a lot of these manosphere men talk about you know they don't see it as beneficial and the child is not theirs and 
Blah, 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 blah. That's not what I'm here to talk about. You understand? I'm talking about it from an emotional perspective. A man can be sympathetic that you've made a mistake. And if he sees that you really understand that you've made a mistake and that you're trying to do right by your child, a man will definitely step in and love you and love that child and protect and provide for you. And be a companion to you. Right? But when a man says that you're not a humble person and you feel like, oh, you're this and you're that and you're the hot stuff, that man, don't, who wants that type of trouble? Who wants that type of trouble? And then now the thing about it is that we have to even worry about the wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> you know, so... um. Looking at it, when a man says he doesn't want to be with a single mother is because he does not want the responsibility of raising a child that he did not make. That's number one. Number two, if the father is still in the picture, a man wants the father to take care of his child. We don't want to be heartless, but we do want these men who are creating these children, we want them to take care of their child. Because we don't want to be resented for trying to take over the role of their father. Especially if the child knows who their father is. We don't want to go through a process of disciplining the child and then the child is saying, you're not my daddy, you can't tell me what to do. Or the mother saying that you're not the father. You can't tell the child what to do. No man wants to. I mean that was something. I didn't even know that I was the only. That I wasn't the only person that thought that way. But every time I saw a single mother. That was a thought that I had in my head. That I don't want to go to a child. And a child is telling me. Hey you're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. You understand? And then I won't know. If I'm going to be supported or, you know, she's going to say, you know, it's not your child. You know. So I'm just giving the emotional part of it where a man, he wants to feel like he is really that, that, that father. He wants to feel like there's no obstacle in the way, basically, to, 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 to hinder him from being the father full-fledged father that you would want him to be and the full-fledged husband that you would seek and desire for him to be in that relationship so you know try to understand it from a man's perspective whereas when he says that he doesn't want a woman that um has a child it's not that he's trying to shame you for the mistakes that you made. He's trying to avoid certain problems that may come with being with a woman that has a child. Just look at it in that perspective. You understand? Um, of course, these problems can still come with, you know, a woman that does not have a child. She could basically give you a child that's not yours. You know, and you could basically, you know, be father in a child that's not yours. And then she let you know later on the child is not yours. And what do you do? You know what I mean? So ladies, try to understand it from a man's perspective when he says he doesn't want to be with, you know, a woman that doesn't, that didn't secure the man that laid up with her and gave her a child and left her. Because one of the things that comes to our minds when you tell us that, you know, <clears throat> you are a single mother is what you, what have you done to chase the man away? You know, we're not going to leave it to, oh, the man is a scumbag, the man is this, the man is that. Because I've really and truly sat down and heard some stories and then avoided some women afterwards. Some women were telling me, oh, you know, the father is still a child and he's this and he's that and blah, 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 blah. And I said to her, I said to her once, but you laid up with him twice. 
and had children with him twice. There are women that came to me and said, oh, you know, yeah, I made a mistake and stuff like that. And I said to them, yeah, you made a mistake and I guess it's just not going to work out between us. You know, and they understood that there are women that take their L's, they take their, they take their comeuppance. Not everybody does that, but there are some women that do take their comeuppance when it comes to, you know, being a single mother. <laughs> but um, women, you just have to understand that men. This is this is this is I could go in deeper, but you know this will be for another video. And as I'm said, we're moving and. Trying to get some stuff together. So, this is the Christian Jamaican Cooley. Enough love and respect. Peace. I am out.